Hello and welcome to this video on the interior and exterior angles of polygons. Now let's just say we drew a polygon, in this case a quadrilateral, then any angle on the inside like this between two of the edges is known as an interior angle. So that'd be an interior angle, that's an interior angle, that's an interior angle, etc. Now an exterior angle is if we were to extend out one of the edges and then it's the angle between that extended edge and the other edge. So this would be known as the exterior angle. An exterior angle, by the way, is not the total angle outside. It would just be the angle between the extended side and another side. And you might wonder, well, does it matter if I extended it out this way or extended it out this way? So if I extend it out this way, could it be the angle between that extended side and this side? Well, you can see that that angle would be the same as that angle because they're vertically opposite. So it doesn't matter which way you extend out the side. But can you see, because these two angles are on a straight line, we can see that they add up to 180. And that gives us our first key formula that the interior plus the exterior angle around any point is 180 degrees. Now, suppose that we were to extend all of these sides out. So we've got this exterior angle, we've got that exterior angle, and we've got that exterior angle. Now let's suppose that my pen is someone who's facing in this direction, and my pen is currently here. Now my pen could turn this exterior angle, so he turns and he's now facing this way, he goes over here, he now turns that exterior angle, now facing this way, he then turns that exterior angle, now facing this way, and then he turns this last exterior angle, and can you see my pen is now facing in its original direction. Now what has my pen turned in total? What angle? We can see that my pen has done one full spin, so therefore it must have turned 360 degrees. And that means the total exterior angle is equal to 360 degrees. Now let's use that to solve these first few problems before we come on to other key formulae. We want to determine the angle x. So we've got these various exterior angles, the 80, the 50, the 85, the 90, and we want to find x. Well, we know that those exterior angles add up to 360. So if we add the other angles, we've got 80 plus the 50 plus the 85 plus the 90, that comes to 305 degrees, and therefore the remaining exterior angle x is just 360 degrees. Take away the 305, which gives us 55 degrees. So x is 55 degrees. What about question two? A regular polygon has 10 sides. What is each exterior angle? Now, if it's regular, we know that all the interior angles would be the same. That's what regular means. And therefore, all the exterior angles would be the same as well. So if it has 10 sides, we know that all the exterior angles add up to 360 degrees. And therefore, the exterior angle would just be 360 shared equally between the 10 sides. And that gives us 36 degrees. And what is each interior angle? Well, we know that the interior and exterior angle add up to 180, so the interior angle would be 180 degrees minus 36 degrees, which gives us 144 degrees. Let's just do another example. Let's say we had a pentagon, and we wanted to find the interior angle of this pentagon. Well, we can extend out one of the sides, and we'd exterior angle. Well, we know the five exterior angles add up to 360, and they're all going to be the same. So we just do 360 divided by 5, which is equal to 72. So that's the exterior angle. And we know that this and this add up to 180, so the interior angle will just be 180 minus that, which is 108 degrees. What about question three? A regular polygon has an exterior angle of 10 degrees. How many sides does it have? Well, we know that if it's a regular polygon, if the total exterior angle is 360 degrees, we would divide it by the number of sides to get 10. So 360 divided by what gives us 10? Well, we could just do 360 divided by 10 to work out that it has 36 sides. And that makes sense. If I had 360, I divided it by 36 to find each exterior angle, that would give me 10 degrees. What about question four? 
Each regular polygon has an interior angle of 160 degrees. How many sides does it have? Well, if each interior angle is equal to 160 degrees, then each exterior angle would just be 180 minus that, which is 20 degrees. And then to find the number of sides n, it's just going to be 360 divided by each exterior angle, and that goes in 18 times. It must have 18 sides. Right, question five, we're gonna need a new formula for this. We can see we've got a hexagon here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six sides, and we know all of the interior angles except for one. But we don't currently have a formula that allows us to find the total interior angle. We know a formula for the total exterior, but not the total interior. And the way it works is like this. If I had, say, a hexagon, I just happen to make it regular. If I was to split it into triangles like this, then if I was to look at the total interior angle like this, total interior angle, can you see that they form the interior angles of each of these triangles? And we know that the sum of the interior angles of each triangle is 180, and therefore the total interior angle must be 180 times 1, 2, 3, 4, which in this case would be 720 degrees. Now the question is, how many triangles do we get? Well, there's four triangles in this case when there were six sides, and in general, there's two less triangles than there are number of sides. So the total interior angle is going to be where you've got the n minus two triangles if there's n sides, and then we times that by 180 because each of the triangles had an interior angle of 180. So let's use that formula for this problem here. It's a hexagon, so the total interior angle is going to be 180 times n minus 2, which is 6 minus 2 in this case because it has 6 sides, and that is 720. Now, if we just add up the other interior angles, so we've got 90 plus 90 plus 265 plus 130 plus 40. They all add up to 615. And then you just need to do 720, the total interior angle, minus that 615. And that gives you 105 degrees. So that angle X is equal to 105. What about question six here? We've got this regular hexagon, a square, and a regular pentagon, and we want to find this angle x. If we want to find this angle, well, we know the angles around that point is 360. So if we could find this angle, this angle, and this angle, we could just subtract it from 360 to work out x. Well, we know that's a right angle, that's the interior angle of a square. Now, a pentagon, we actually worked it out earlier, it was 108 degrees. But just to recap how you could find the interior angle, well, there's two ways. You could either find the total interior angle of a pentagon, so you do 180 times 5 minus 2, which is 540, and then if the total interior angle is 540, each one will just be 540 divided by 5, which is 108. Or the easier way is to just remember that the total exterior angle of a pentagon is 360. So for a pentagon, if we just do 360 divided by 5, that will give us each exterior angle which is 72 and we know the interior angle is just 180 minus the exterior angle so 180 minus 72 is 108 degrees that's the way I find interior angles so we can put that in 108 and we can do the same for the hexagon so we do 360 divided by the number size to get each exterior angle which is 60 and then each interior angle will just be 180 minus 60 which is the 120 degrees. So that is 120. And then we just need to add those up. So 120 plus 108 plus 90, and then subtract that from 360. And that gives us 42 degrees. And that is X. Now, finally, we've got this harder problem here. So, Sheila places pentagons and squares in an alternating fashion, as shown. So, we've got pentagon, square, pentagon, square, pentagon, square, etc. to form a regular polygon A in the space form. So, we can see as we place these in a kind of circular-like fashion, we end up with a regular polygon in the middle, and we need to determine how many sides that has. 
Now, if I just draw a few of the sides here, so we've got a pentagon, then we've got a square, then we've got another pentagon, another square, etc. And we're trying to find how many sides that polygon has there. Now, if we were to find the interior angle of this mysterious polygon, then we could find the number of sides. And we can find that interior angle using the same technique we use for this problem here. So we know because we know that the angles around this point, for example, is 360 degrees. We know that is 90. We know the interior angle of a pentagon is 108 degrees. And therefore, if we just do 360 minus 108 minus 90, then that gives us this angle of 162 degrees. So the interior angle is 162 degrees. And we've previously done a question where we know the interior angle and we had to work out the number of sides. And the way we did it was to first find the exterior angle because that's just 180 minus 162 because we know from our key formula interior plus exterior is 180. So we do 180 minus 162 which is equal to 18 degrees. And then if the total exterior angle is 360 then 360 divided by the number of sides of this polygon gave us 18. So we can find the number of sides by just doing 360 divided by 18, and that gives us 20 sides.